Hi, it's Ellen Violette here, and I think I look a little, a little uh, tired today. I actually slept 11 hours, but um, I was making up for for not sleeping before then, I guess. So today I want to talk about: um, Do you have to be scared in order to be successful? And for those of you who don't know me, I've been on the internet since 2004. I was the very first ebook coach in the entire world and I've been helping people all over the world create um, their legacy books and grow them into high income businesses and in that time I've learned a lot about being an entrepreneur and f dealing with fear and growth business growth and you know what kind of what's going to come up you know, when I first started, people were just saying, oh, it's going to be easy, you know, you're going to be rich in two years. And there was all this hype about the internet that just really wasn't true. And so when I got started, I actually started really fast. I became successful really fast. I started making a six-figure income in two and a half years. But it was really for me in the middle years. Hi, kid. It was, it was really for me in the middle years where it got kind of crazy and I doubted myself and I wasn't sure and I was scared and all kinds of, you know, things that entrepreneurs go through. But I didn't know that it was normal because people weren't saying that in those days. So I see part of my mission as not just helping people get their message out, but also really understanding how this works and being honest about it. Because so many people were not honest with me and it really affected me and made me feel like I was doing something wrong when I wasn't. And I will say that when the recession hit, and I have to say I've talked to a lot of people now over the years and especially lately because I'm doing a book on overcoming depression for entrepreneurs and I find that a lot of people went through some really serious doubting and fear and problems when the recession hit and had to dig really deep to figure out how to get past that so uh, anyway so that's part of you know just dealing with the reality of, of being an entrepreneur hi Joey hi and so uh, the answer to the question is, do you have to be scared to succeed? I think the answer is yes and no. And I used to think that there was something wrong with me because I didn't want to jump off a cliff, you know, into a pile of, of fear and just, you know, feel like I was in, in absolute panic mode. And so uh, that doesn't mean that I haven't felt fear over the years. I mean, I absolutely have. But I never felt comfortable with this idea that if you're not scared, you aren't growing. If you're not scared, you know, your business is going to fail. And I think there's a lot of shaming on Facebook by so-called experts. And it really bugs me because, again, I think that everybody has to find a balance between um, growing and doing what works for them and being in your comfort zone and being out of your comfort zone. And so... You know, like I said, I never felt comfortable with that idea, and I felt like, oh my God, you know, is my business not going to be successful because I'm not jumping off of cliffs, cliffs and scaring myself half to death? So, I think that there's a lot that you can do in your comfort zone to grow your business. Hi, Barbara. And, uh, and I also think that there are times when you need to be out of your comfort zone. And so... But I think people misconstrue what that means, okay? So, for instance, like, I think that entrepreneurs, as entrepreneurs, we like change, we like creativity, we like learning, and those things are naturally going to lead to growth, and they're naturally going to lead to places where you may not know what you're doing, and that may feel uncomfortable. But I think that that's different than saying, you know, if you're not scared, you're, you're not being successful. So... Um, I want to give you an example of no fear, so, and and how I led to how it led to this. So I was going to put together a podcast a few years ago, and I ended up not doing it because I did hit a wall with the um, that I couldn't do a lot of the things myself, and I was going to need help. And the people that I was talking to wanted a lot of money to do it for me, and that wasn't my priority at the time. And I just you know set it aside. And then the beginning of this year, it came up again, and somebody was t a, a coach of mine was telling me, "Oh, it's really easy. You could do this." And so I started, you know, to put it together again. And what ended up happening is that I found I wasn't afraid. 
I just um, started to see there were a lot of pieces to it and I was just going through the steps and putting the pieces together and I got to the point where I was doing the audios and I made a mistake I didn't listen to the first one I just did all five because I had been told that you should do five instead of one to get started and so what happened was that it, it, the, the recordings were terrible so then I did it again I thought I was doing it better and it was terrible again and I thought okay so, you know something's wrong or I need to get help but in the meantime I thought you know okay yeah this is you know not going really well because it's out of my comfort zone and I'm having trouble with the audio but guess what I can take these scripts and I could turn them into a book and I'm not afraid to do that for a second because I know how to do that and so that's what I did you know I just took it and I and I did that and uh, I'm working on some other things but then I'll come back to that and I'll, I'll get the podcast done but I was totally in my comfort zone getting that done now is that book gonna grow my business absolutely you know, first of all, every time you add a new book to your Amazon collection, it just gives you more credibility and status. And secondly, it's on a new topic, and it's on a topic that will help me grow my business to the next level. So, um, you know, I was totally in my comfort zone, and that's my point, is there are times when you can, you know, maybe something's not going well, and you say, okay, you know, what could I do that's in my comfort zone that's going to make something happen fast? You know, because sometimes things are just going so slow and you're frustrated and, like I said, not necessarily scared, but it just isn't working. Okay. So, and I will say that sometimes there are fears that come up about things that stop people from moving forward. Like, I know a lot of times when I'll talk to people about their books or I'll talk to someone and they've got maybe three, four, five books and yet they're not putting any of them up on Kindle and I'll say you know why aren't your books up there why haven't you published the ones you already have and they'll say I, I don't know I just keep writing them and uh, you know we get into the discussion of well you know are you afraid you know what are you afraid of are you afraid it won't sell are you afraid it will sell I've had people say oh my god you know it might be really successful and then what will I do and I'll say to them look if it's if that starts to happen first of all you can control it because all you have to do is stop marketing so much and, and then nobody will find it and that'll be the end of that or you know if you're afraid of success but you want it then you've got to find a way you know to move through that and maybe you need to hire somebody who can help you with the mindset you know it just depends I read so uh, you know but again it, it's about thinking I think thinking about it in a different way and really not letting people shame you you know telling you that you're not you're, you're not being scared enough so and, and then the other thing is you know taking baby steps like for instance I'm doing this collaboration book on overcoming depression for entrepreneurs it's in my wheelhouse I know how to do books okay but it's not in my wheelhouse in the sense that I have never done a collaboration book before so there are some things that I had to research I had to ask questions I had to find answers to and uh, I guess the way I would describe that now which actually has changed since yesterday because I actually listened to Suzanne Evans yesterday and she was talking about the meaning of the word hustle and I always kind of had a bad connotation of hustle as meaning working hard but her definition of hustle was having a mindset of getting it done you know of of doing what needs to be done to get things done of figuring things out of solving things and so yeah you know I was in the hustle part of figuring stuff out in the part of, of this new endeavor that I didn't know how to do but I still had a lot of it that was in my comfort zone so um, you know baby steps but if you feel like oh my god you know I'm not I'm not doing enough and I'm not scared enough and therefore I have to jump off this cliff and then the fear of jumping off that cliff is so big that you do nothing you know because you become frozen then what's the point of that right there isn't one uh, it's not going to help you it's not going to serve you so you know why not just be kind to yourself and say okay well that one's too big for me right now what could I do maybe that's smaller that will allow me to take a step outside my comfort zone but still do some things that are in the comfort zone so that I don't feel frozen from this so really my point is you know is don't let people make you feel bad for not being scared enough or not being willing to jump off a cliff and do what works for you do what makes you feel comfortable and at the same time you know is is working on your business and moving it forward and sometimes it's a matter of you know maybe you're reaching out to five people a day 
and now you're saying I'm going to reach out to six people a day. You know, maybe it's you were doing one book a year and now you're saying, okay, I'm going to, you know, do two books a year. You know, so in other words, it doesn't have to be something that you don't have a clue what you're doing. Okay. So that's really what I wanted to say about that. And um, let's see, was there anything else? Oh, and I think always, I think there are always going to be some elements that are in your comfort zone and some that aren't. I mean, even, you know, one of the number one fears is the fear of speaking. So, you know, if you're really scared of speaking, I mean, there are a lot of things that you can do to get over it. And this is true for, you know, any endeavor. But the idea is you can, um, you know, hire somebody to help you practice. You can write scripts and practice those. You know, you can memorize things to say. You can memorize how to deal with different situations. You can make notes for yourself as you learn certain things. You know, and one of the things that I love, I'm actually in, in Jeff Hunter's um, outsourcing course, and one of the things that he talks about that I love is like when you're doing something, and let's say you are learning it and you aren't sure how to do it, if you videotape it while you're doing it, now you've got that, not just for your outsourcers, but if you want to go back and do it again, then you have that for yourself so you can refer back to it over and over. Because sometimes like there are things in my business that I don't do all the time. Like um, I have a, a software program that makes book covers and I don't go in there all that often. I'm not that great at it, but I can do the basic ones. But there, there's always this one place where I forget this one thing that I need to do. But I wrote it down. So I just go and I look it up and then I, you know, I do it. So, and again, I think you have to uh, differentiate between what's fear and what's knowing things that aren't good for you. So for instance, for me, I know like if I try to do certain things that I know would be good for my business, but they drain my energy, and so I don't want to do them because I don't want to feel exhausted. And so the fear that's coming up is, oh, I don't, I, I don't want to do that because I know I'm going to feel this certain way when I do it because that's how I feel when I do that. And then maybe it's, okay, well, I shouldn't do that. So one, I either have to find a different way or two, hire someone else to do it. So it isn't always fear, you know, it isn't always being scared necessarily. It can just be that it's not quite the right thing for you. And I think, again, that's another place where people get shamed, you know, where it's like, oh, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do the other thing. And um, as a matter of fact, I was just talking to someone today about Facebook Lives, and, we, and I was saying um, that somebody was telling me that, you know, maybe I should do it once a week and I should do it at a certain time. And somebody else was saying, well, why don't you do it three times a week? And I was saying, you know, I really think it works no matter what you do, as long as you commit to what it is you want to do and that's how it works in your business. But I have found that people that do a lot of Facebook Lives um, get on my radar and then I decide which ones I like or don't like. But I also have to go with what works for me. So again, it, it isn't necessarily fear but it can be a, an uncomfortable feeling and then you've got to figure out is this fear or is this just that this isn't the right thing for me or maybe this isn't the right sequence, maybe I need to do something else before I'm ready to do this. Um, for instance, maybe there's some things you need to get you know, settled in your business before you're ready to spend a bunch of money on ads, you know, something like that. So that's really what I wanted to say. But the bottom line is you know, don't let people shame you into thinking that you're not taking enough risks or you're not being scared enough. Um, take baby steps if you need to, jump if, you know, if that's what your personality says to do. And, you know, when you feel like you can't reach out and, uh, you know, get support, get a coach, you know, do what you have to do. But, uh, you know, because you don't want to sit and just be stuck forever in one place and not be growing your list. If you're not, and your business, if you're not growing at all, then that's a different story. Then maybe you need to be a little scared. But, um, but again, as I said, I think the answer is yes and no and that you don't have to shame yourself or be terrified in order to succeed in your business. So that's it for today. Have a great day. And for everybody who's dealing with the hurricanes, my heart and everybody's goes out to you and we're thinking of you. And uh, let's just get through this weekend. So that's it. Bye-bye.